Hey folks, welcome back. Now we have something else we've included in the template. We call them thumb loaders. Um, basically, it's like a little news box. You animate, you hover over it. The picture does something. There's some text over here in a box that shows up. And uh, it's sort of like, like a timeline type of thing, but it has the load more button. You click that and then you can, it'll expand and display as many other comments and whatnot as you, as you have or as you have hidden away. So let me just quickly show you how this works. Basically, it's based on the same premise as all of our other sort of containers and that is if we go into our library folder um, and our components there's a thumb loaders folder here now whatever thumb loaders we're using uh, that example I was showing you is located in the clients uh, page so we'll just use that as an example I'm going to open up the clients LBI and I'm going to turn off all these annoying lines everything has the label at top or starts with the label of thumb one two three four the thumb one, the thumb two, the thumb three, the thumb four, those are just titles used in the library page. You won't see them in the actual uh, web page. But we have a picture, and then we have some some text. And in this example here, here's the picture, and then we have the text over here. And that's just any HTML that you want it to be. It could be a picture, it could be a video. We've just set it up with some boring text for now to give you a place to put stuff. Um, but uh, changing the picture on this one, uh, all we do is we just double click on the thumb here. We need a 100 by 100 uh, pixel image. So we'll just grab our 100 by 100 pixel, drop it in here, automatically select it, click OK, and away we go. Yeah, I hit the pause button there for a second. I, apparently I labeled it 100 by 100, but it's actually 300 by 300. That's what I like about this tool. It tells me when I make mistakes. Uh, so I'll grab a, a different image of 100 by 100. I'll just drop it in place replace it and click OK and there we go. All right, so with that being said, that's the, the, the thumb image on the left hand side and there's the HTML content on the on the right hand side. Just put whatever you want where this line is or where this div container of thumb description is, right? So if we view this in code, right, there's just a paragraph tag right there inside of a div class of thumb description. Put whatever HTML you, you want right here for that box. All right, with that said, um, Everything's divided into slides, like our other components. Now, we only have two slides that show up initially when the page loads, one and two. We hit the load more, then all the other slides sort of whoop, animate into view. Well, how do we make that happen? Well, as you see in the, in the design view, there's a whole bunch of slides. We have seven of them, but only two of them show up because um, what we've done here, and we'll start off with this uh, slide number three or thumb three, We've added a class to the, the thumb load more. We've added a class of thumb hide. So if we wanted the first, the, the second thumb to be hidden, we just, right where it says, actually what I do is I just go to the entire div class of thumb load more, thumb hide. I'd copy that. I'd select the existing one here and I paste it right over top. If I want a thumb to show up that's already hidden, I just remove the class of thumb hide right here. So it's just a matter of adding a class. We add a class, it's hidden by default, you hit a button, some little script runs in the background, and then all the rest of the containers show up. So really that's all there is to these, these thumb loaders. It's just a series of slides, um, the ones that are not visible when the page first load. Uh, it's because we have a div class here for the load more, and we've applied an additional class called thumb hide and you can remove that class or apply it to another container if you want to hide and remove them. As a matter of fact, you can even make easies, odds and evens. You don't have to, um, you can load them in the page in any order you want and just have whatever specific ones show up. So it doesn't have to be a top to bottom thing either, right? Uh, and really that's all there is to working with the, the thumb loader. It's just, uh, there's a picture here and there's a paragraph right here. That's the paragraph tag right there. You can put any HTML within the thumb description. Like I said, we have the paragraph and you're good to go.